What's up, Growth Hackers? So today we're going to review a tool called New Link. This is a social media uh, posting slash scheduler. And I have used all of the top ones in the industry. And this one is by far the best. I believe this is quite new. It's got a lot of hype on Facebook right now and for a very good reason. And we'll touch base on that. And But basically, uh, if you don't have much time, it's the automations feature that not no other scheduler, in my opinion, has uh, used, and this is probably the best time saver. Highly recommend this tool, so make sure you check out the link in the description below. Just uh, try out the 14-day free trial. Uh, I'll touch base on the pricing at the end of this video, um, but I'll show you some of the cool features. And again, I've reviewed a couple of these. Uh, the top two hyped ones previously were Postly, uh, which was pretty cool. It involves some AI and stuff like that, as well as Radar. Radar is also a very great platform. Um, Postly and Radar, again, you can check out their reviews on my uh, my channel. Uh, I'll include links down below as well. Uh, but they were my favorite, but now New Link is by far my favorite, and I've actually replaced them all with New Link. Um, so let's just take a look uh, real quick. It says schedule months of social media content in minutes. This is uh, the key value proposition as well as a very strong value proposition because anyone looking for these tools is essentially tr trying to save time and have their social media game literally uh, on auto posting. Um, without needing to go in every week or month and schedule it out for the next month. So this is really cool and this has to do with the automations. Again, they have a 14 day free trial, so definitely sign up and uh, check it out. I, I love the website, just some feedback. Uh, as you guys know, uh, I do a lot of conversion rate optimization stuff and some of the companies that I'm even working with are watching this. So again, try to add a play, uh, play, pulsing play button up top here. Uh, try to include a video or uh, somebody's face as well. The video should actually play uh, with the founder talking about what makes this different than all the other tools out there as well as uh why they should sign up so literally a 30 second or a one minute video with the founder talking about it, i think would increase your conversion rates a lot more um, but again the website can be improved but the tool itself is amazing so this part's really cool i love this part of the website you can see they have collections automations they're actually uh, related a little bit uh, which i'll show you here's the pricing actually why don't we just go over this now they are very affordable so uh, I think most of you would probably want the premium. So here you get two brands, uh, two members, you get more than enough social channels that you need and uh, more than enough stuff for your queue. Um, you, so a lot of you, if you're doing an agency, then you probably have something more like this. I don't know if they have an agency plan, but yeah, I highly recommend signing up for the $25 a month, uh, 14 day free trial. Check it out. It's going to, it's going to bring back more ROI than you could possibly think of. And I'll just show you uh, some of the, integrations that they have here. Uh, so Twitter, Etsy, the thing that I use the most is actually RSS feeds and I'll show you that as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it actually. So here's what you see when you log in. So this is the step. So you create your account, then you connect your social media channels, uh, obviously, and then you create a collection. Um, so for, for each one of your ideas or companies, you can create a collection and then you can put stuff into that collection, whether it's like RSS feeds and all that stuff. Um, and basically it'll be automated. So let's check this out. All right. So here you can see, uh, you can actually switch between different brands. So, um, if you click switch brands, you can see, I have the superhero ninja one, and then I have, uh, my clinics one as well. So you can create, or you can switch within brands, which is really cool. Um, so I'll show you some stuff. So first thing you're going to want to do is like create a collection. So if we go to collections here, you can see, uh, I have different collections. You can decide on how you want to create your collections, whether it's based on per company, uh, which is what I have right here, or you could base it on certain other factors like uh, what's within the collection. Maybe you have one on like funny posts, one on informational posts, one on sales posts. You can create different collections in that sense. So you literally just hit create co collection, name the collection, um, select the social channels that you want. So this will be where you uh, in uh, for the social channels, I'll show you that in a second, but that's pretty easy. You just integrate them, you connect them like any other uh, social media poster. Um, then you can select days of the week here, uh, whether it's Monday to Friday or Saturday and Sunday. You can select the times. I believe they have a limitation on three times to post or something like that, but um, typically I try to do anywhere from like 8 a.m. and then one around lunchtime and then one in the evening as well. Um, you can color code it. You can actually uh, share the posts on repeat uh, or evergreen, but because of the way that I'm going to show you how to set up the automation, I actually don't do this, but for a lot of the, you that have like custom posts, like stuff that you are assets that you already have, whether it's posting videos or stuff that you already own, 
you might want to even just post it like once a month. Like it's not going to get old. Um, people see so much content nowadays online that you can actually repeat it. So you can have the entire 365 days of the year um, automated, which is why I like this feature as well. Uh, you can do first in, first out, which means new posts will be added at the bottom of the queue. And yeah, so you create your collections. I already have some here. So for example, we'll do uh, one like here. So best dental clinics uh, for marketing. So now we've moved into uh, the queue. Um, here you can see that there's some posts already ready to go. I believe I have it scheduled for three day. Now you might be asking, how did I create all this? Well, in a lot of most tools, you're literally going to have to hire a VA, type all this stuff in, post it, and then schedule it and all that stuff. But the again, the key thing that makes this a value or money maker in almost all businesses is the automation. So once you've created your collections, you're actually going to come to automations. And you're going to create an automation so if you hit add automation here again you can choose like all the different things they have you can repost from etsy instagram if you have a new if you have a shopify store that's uh, adding new products you can automatically post for that uh, the thing that i like to use personally um, and again they have so many different things that you can use youtube videos as well so if you create a youtube video it um, can auto post that um, the thing that i'm using the most is the rss feeds so here you can just click add automation you can find the RSS link. The way that you can find this is you just go to Google and whatever your niche is, say it's like in the cat niche or whatever, whatever your niche is, type in like your niche and then space RSS feeds. You'll be able to find the top RSS feeds. And I would add as many as you can, maybe like three of, of them that post regularly. You would add the RSS feed link in here. And then this would be the uh, default um, caption for the post or the description. And then you can either create a new collection or if you uncheck this, you can select the collection that you already created, uh, which I showed you. And uh, you can import the existing uh, posts or, and new ones. Or if you just want to uh, post the new ones, you can uncheck that. So um, just know if it's an RSS with a lot of posts already, this is actually going to import a lot of them, which is fine. Um, but if it's an RSS feed that's posting regularly, you might want to uncheck this. Um, I like to import post as image, which means that when it does post this uh, to your Facebook or your Twitter or whatever you want to post it to Instagram, um, it'll actually show the, the image of the thumbnail, which I actually like. So I recommend doing that. And once you've done that, you just hit add RSS feed. Um, you can see I've done a bunch already here. So we have different uh, RSS feeds and they're all going to different collections. And then again, once you go to Q, the second you add it, you'll see them all added in here. Uh, as well, which is pretty cool. And again, if you go to collections, you'll see how many posts uh, were scheduled, again, using those RSS feeds or whatever uh, you're doing. So that's essentially it. And it's very easy. You can set this up within 10 minutes and you'll have posts for the entire year going forward. And you'll add so much more value to uh, your customers because you'll be giving them useful information depending on the RSS feed that you take a look at. Now, that was the top feature, which again, uh, we just call it their automations. And check out their Facebook uh, pages and, and groups as well. There's a lot of people talking about New Link. Um, another feature that somebody liked as second, which I haven't really tested out yet, is the link shortener. Um, this is obviously useful if you have a separate software like Pixel, uh, Link Shortener, or whatever it is. I reviewed a couple of those on my, on my channel already. Um, this actually can do it for you. So the benefit of this is that you don't have that long ass link and it's just easier to add to your descriptions and uh, clickable. And I believe it will also track them in here, uh, which is cool. So you can see the clicks, the unique visits, etc. desktop and mobile, which is very useful. Here you can upload in the media library uh, some of the media that you want. It actually looks like it's uh, saved a bunch of the media because I used that add to image, which I showed you guys earlier. Um, here's where you actually add the social channel. So this is nothing new. You can just hit connect new channel. You can connect Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, literally everything that you would want. Telegram is actually coming soon, which will be very interesting. A lot of people have some use cases for that. I'll probably create another video uh, once this is up so that I can show you guys some use cases for that as well. So again, for $25 a month, again, 14 day free trial, highly recommend doing this. Just set up the collection, the automation, and uh, you will be good to go for the next year. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day.